Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. We are today, Tuesday, December 18, 2018, and I want to welcome everyone who is watching the channel. Thank you so much for, you know, checking out the channel and for subscribing as well. So for today, the topic discussions that we have, we have the current state of Haiti, and we're also going to discuss Haiti and the New World Order. I have my notes in front of me in the event that you're wondering what I'm what I'm like reading from I actually have to prepare my videos so um why do I want to talk about the current state of Haiti the current state of Haiti we're just going to briefly talk about that like the political the economy the environmental and one of the reasons that I felt like I wanted to talk about that it's because I just want to be as honest and I just want to be as clear as possible when I'm talking to people so that let's just say that you've never come to Haiti or let's just say that you haven't come to Haiti for a even like a year and you're coming back to Haiti I want you to understand what I felt so I haven't been back to Haiti in nearly almost two years like a year and six months and I kid you not I have to be as honest as possible I kid you not when I got up from the, um, usually, like, I was happy. Of course, I was, you know, home is home. Home is where the heart is. So I'm always going to be happy to be back in the country. However, driving from the airport, the Port-au-Prince airport, to my home, I was, you know, I was not only, like, I was, the state of mind that I was in was that, oh, my God. Like for the first time, as I was talking to a great friend of mine, when I came, like the next day we were having a conversation, I feel like for the first time, it was kind of like I was telling myself, I was doubting myself because the, the dust, I feel, I really, I don't know if it's because I've been away for a little bit longer and I haven't even like been out. I've only been like in the area. And one of the, the, the reasons that I haven't been out is just the fact that just, just the amount of dust that is on the streets in Port-au-Prince, I was like, I can't believe this. Literally, I almost had an asthma attack coming from the airport to come here. The dust, like just the environmental condition, which I talked about in the video that I made, the 10 things that I dislike the most about Haiti, about living in Haiti. So Port-au-Prince, the dust in Port-au-Prince is, it's, 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 I don't know, it's like a powder. I swear to God, the dust in Port-au-Prince, it's like your powder, the powder that you put in your face. It's like, if you don't have a car where you have a vehicle, where you have the ability to put all the windows up high and you have your AC blazing, you in for a treat. You in for a treat. You in for a treat. So this is really what prompted this video because I was like, I really want to talk about the current state of Haiti, politically, economically, and mostly environmentally. That's really what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm... <laughs> this is not funny. I'm sorry. I'm just like looking at myself and I'm like, why are you doing... <laughs> Let's continue, guys. <laughs> Political. Political, I don't think I'm going to dwell on it because we really have like videos that are really going to touch a political scene. So you already know if you follow the news, if you don't follow the news, but well, it's extremely chaotic in the apparent scene of the political. I said upside down. It is upside down, but yet they are all taking care of business. I think that if you have been watching some of the videos that I made, you understand that the majority of the people here in this country operate in chaos. Even when, let's just say that you're not used as to that type of setting, like a chaotic setting. So you might just be thrown off guard. Like you might just feel like, oh my God, like what kind of like setting is this? What is this girl talking about? Like, oh my God. But that's unfortunately and sadly, that's just the way that things operate here in Haiti. And don't even worry about it because it's a surface. It's a surface. Everyone is taking care of their business. Everybody is taking care of their business. So politically, it's going to be like that, as we mentioned, for the last two years. But let's not worry about that. So, excuse me. Um, economically, economically, I said, at the image of the politics, no one is or will lose money. The business people, the people who handle the commerce, and I also said that, um, the, yeah, they are functioning and giving the people 
what the politicians are giving to them. Meaning what? Right now, you know that I've already had a video with you about how I did the, um, the comparison between the currency, between the good, the Haitian good, and the American dollar, and a little bit of the Canadian dollar. The euro is a lot more. So currently, the money exchange for Haiti is we have um, one American dollar it equals 75 good. That's what the supermarket around me gave. Outside, you can buy it for 77. The, I, I believe the bank gave it for 77 good. The U.S. Embassy, I'm probably sure that they are, don't quote me. It's probably 77 for the U.S. Embassy, but I wouldn't be surprised if the U.S. Embassy is actually giving in for 100 good. They always put it higher. So the reason that I said that the economy is at the image of the politics is exactly what I told you. The, uh, the, oh, I'm sorry. The, the people who handle the commerce, the people who have the supermarket, the people who, you know, are selling stuff, they are not going to lose money. No one, listen, don't start with anything in this video, okay? You know who you are. No one in this country is going to lose money. And this is, right now we are having December, la vie continue, meaning you have people who are not able to travel elsewhere to do their shopping. So when it comes to clothing, when it comes to um, hanging out, when it comes to anything that you want to do, we've already touched on that before. Everything is at the American rate. This is one of the major problems that Haiti has. And I believe that last year, while I was away, there was a wave and the president of Haiti had mentioned that he didn't want the dollar to be um, circulating in the country, that he only wanted the good to be circulating in the country. Now, I'm wondering if I shouldn't have a particular video for that on its own. Because I actually agree with his tactics, and I actually think that that would be the best tactic to propel to, the country. Um, to oh, how do I say that? For him to have such such a sanction, like well, not sanction, like to take these drastic measure, you would have to um, make sure that you are exporting. You know, you would have to make sure that your economy is sustainable. If your economy is not sustainable, then it's very, it's not the best move to make right now. So basically, I'm so sorry. So basically, I'm sorry. So basically what I'm saying is that um, these are not, these are not bad implementation that the current president of Haiti is trying to make. You know, he's, these are really not bad um these are not bad things that he's trying to implement. I do agree with him. I do agree with some of the tactics that he's trying to make because I do see that this would be harsh for those living in Haiti for everybody. But it would be what would put you where you need to be to become an independent, a true independent country. How the hell do you have two currency working? Basically, Everything in Haiti, we've touched on this before, everything in Haiti is at the U.S. dollar. Anything, like right now, if you come in, or well, we, you watch this video in January, but let's say you planning to come to Haiti, you are better off coming to Haiti with your, if you're coming from the U.S. with your American dollar. If you're not coming to, for the U.S., you are better off to change whatever currency money that you have with to the American um, dollar and come with to it with Haiti because right now the money the currency rate is very high so let's say you come with a hundred dollars American change that to 77 that gives you a lot more like that gives you close to maybe like six thousand and change good so you see but let me tell you the trick thing with that the trick thing with that is the good, you would only use it if you're doing things like that are really, really locally. If you're trying to hang out like in the, uh, I don't want to say big spot in Port-au-Prince because big spot, quote unquote, but anything decent, anything cool, if you're trying to go to hang out, if you're trying to go to the beach, if you're trying to do anything, it's going to be in the currency of the American dollar. So... I think that I should probably touch on this a little bit more in details as far as like the economy, 
but let's go back to the environment and then we'll try to see if it's not too long because it's already 10 minutes. We'll try to go back with the economy. So when it comes to the environment, that's really where I wanted to talk. The environmental, I said part of Prince is crazy. The dust feels like it's submerging everyone. The traffic is, I said worst, but I should find a different adjective to describe the traffic in Port-au-Prince. I said that I feel like there are way too many cars. Like if you've never, like the, the streets in Haiti are not that large, but you know, Haiti is a very, it's not a big country, but the, the, the amount of cars that people drive in Haiti, plus you got the motorcycle, you got the tap tap. So right now, if you don't need the streets, you don't need to go out. Like, if you don't need to go out, if you don't have to go out, if you don't need to really go out to do some things, you need to stay home. I said there are way too many cars and it is dreadful. I'm talking about dreadful to go anywhere. Literally, I think that you should put like an hour and a half for any place that you're trying to go. So this is really what I have to talk about when I talk about the current state of Haiti. This is just me being in the country for like a week and observing how things are done and just assessing. And I felt like, okay, again, if I'm telling you to do this, if I'm encouraging you to do that, I also want you to prepare your mental. I want you to have a, a mental clarity as to what you're coming into. I don't want you to come and be like taken aback. I want you to come and have an idea of um, how you're going to find the country. Not to discourage you again, but I'm just keeping it 100% real. Plus, parenthesis, we haven't been having any electricity. No electricity. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, I'm very interested to see what you will say beneath the videos. Let's get the discussion popping. And I wish you a very, very, very beautiful afternoon, evening, morning, night. Whenever you watch this video, I'll see you in the next video.